this is right here. <laughs> well, you are My name is Sirius Jones. She just had some little dude right here. This was the beginning of my legacy. You know what I mean? Gucci Sheiks, by the way. See, I was raised in a family of six. Two younger brothers, older sister, moms, pops, aunts, uncles, cousins. Yeah, we was pretty deep. My mom was a school teacher. So I learned early the value of education, history, knowing your people, knowing your struggle. See, we was revolutionaries, taught to fight. I mean, when you're Muslim and going to school in second grade looking like you're about to sell some bean pies, you better learn how to stand out some way. <laughs> See, I started getting so good with standing out and using my words, started winning awards. That's me at nine years old. With the governor, by the way. See, but as I got older, you know, I was good in the books, but I wanted to get into the sports, you know what I mean? That's what was popping in the hood anyway. The difference is, though, when you're going through life playing, you start thinking it's a game. For me, I had to learn the hard way. Life is serious. So right now, what I need y'all to do is uh, buckle up. We're going to go on a little ride, man. God has blessed me to have a real crazy drum in real life, you know? Spot. So it makes for some real good music, up. you know what I mean? Love I mean, it's the zone now. It's what you call soul Let's music, man. Right Let's You know what I mean? It's bigger than rap. The real rap. We're throwing in the truck. We're going to take it to the next level. Life. Uh, series. So you ready to put this work in the what, man? That's what I'm here for, man. All right, let's get it. Let's go get him. Hold up. Gotta take y'all back before this. Games. We all play some kind, whether it's a sport, in your mind, whatever. This wasn't just a dream of an average ghetto kid. It was more of a tradition in my family. My uncles, my brothers, hey, even my pops. He was a legend in the streets. I was training to carry that torch for the fam. Too bad my jump shot was falling off like a Ben Hub cat. My pops, he was born and raised in Harlem. His mom's died when he was 18. He always had at least two jobs as far as I can remember, but on the court, he was free. Oh, sure got the magic touch. My baby must be a magician. See, games is metaphors for life. He did all he could to set me up. All I had to do was finish. <laughs> so there I was, fresh out of Jersey in Tallahassee, Florida, <laughs> learning all the knowledge the collegiate experience had to offer. Ain't had shit to do with no classroom, though. I mean, after I woke up from them hoop dreams, it was all cush by the bush and drank by the tank. I mean, I was just feeding these young minds, you know what I mean? They was looking to explore, break the boundaries set by the little yuppie middle-class upbringing. I mean, half of my niggas in school ain't even go to school. What up, Jux? <laughs> this is what I was talking about right here, though. Yeah. Kelly from Missouri. This was the smartest girl in my class. But you know they just wanted to let loose, though. And I was right there to help. I got some college math for your ass, all right? Take a one-bedroom apartment, empty cooler, plus four cans of Hawaiian punch times two bottles of five-dollar vodka, divided by some Luke Miami bass and some horny college schoolgirls, and what you get? I got an A in anatomy. Too bad I ain't studied nothing else. Now, for one of my college requirements, I had to get an internship at a major Fortune 500 company. I mean, I had had a few big jobs before. I mean, I knew how to handle myself. Shit, I got through two years of school without even studying. I was good. So, Mr. Jones, what kind of job experience do you have? I work for, like, one of the largest Fortune 500 companies in the Tri-State area. 
as like an IT specialist. Also, um, a few community programs, you know, working with kids, things like that. Um, I was a information librarian one time. And, um, you know, I'm a full-time student, so. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime? Well, yes or no? Damn. I was praying she ain't asked that shit. All we was doing was talking. You know what I mean? We ain't hurt nobody. Just build it on life. I mean, I've been, I've been doing this corporate, you know, college shit. It gotta be more than that. Like, it gotta be real life. Walk the straight path, nigga. You see what the fuck we going through out this bitch. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck is this nigga right here? Doing, What's up, man? Do we help you? How you doing back there, man? All right, we good. How you doing? You guys got some ID? No. Nah, man. You got ID? You got ID? I mean, I got ID. Don't ask me no fucking questions, man. So eh? I got some ID. Here's my fucking ID yeah, right here. All right, all right, let's go. Right. Both of you, turn around. Hey. Up against yeah. the wall. Yo, relax, man. Let's go. Relax, Don't tell bro. me to relax. relax. I said, relax. let's go. Up against the wall. Yo, Yo all, right. all right, all right. Police around here, that's all they know how to do is fuck with niggas. Oh, Put that gun down, man. Put that gun down for my head, man. Yeah, yeah that's okay. right. That's right. Yo, all right, all right. Oh, now, where your ID at, nigga? Now, where your motherfucker? Well, you know it ain't quite go down like that. I wish, though. That's what you gonna lock me up for? No, man. You ain't got nothing man. better to do than fuck with us, man? Have you ever been arrested or convicted of a crime? Well, uh, Yes or no? Well, uh, yes, but I mean... I mean, look at the face. Since I came in here, she ain't paid attention to a fucking word I said. Sure. Kind of place, so. Okay. Thank you for coming in. We'll be in touch. I appreciate it. Right. Thanks. Right. So it was clear to me I wasn't gonna make it to the top rocking no damn hard bottoms. Guess it's time to lace up the boots again. Back to the streets, nigga. <laughs> Small town hustle, big city dreams in my Send my fellow men with brother when they squeeze in my I mean, a lot of things that came back and forth across this bridge My pop shit, even my grandpops drove the same route I mean, it ain't rocket science, though Think about it You got eight million motherfuckers stacked up on top of each other Stressed out, living in bricks and concrete What you expect the biggest product to be? See, this the city where dreams get sold way faster than they come true I mean, I ain't even have a connect, but you know I found one. They got that soft, white, hard, narcotic, chronic, etc. Welcome to the fucking hottest block in America. Broadway. I get my chronic on Broadway. That works, they popping on Broadway. Sign language. We speak fluent on these corners they trace. We all try to win against each other. Maybe that's why they call it a race. Behind the scenes, the streets is watching. It's the real prime time. The city never sleeps. She sells big dreams to small minds. It's crime, nine to nine, a soup line. Maybe cross a jumper. Your only fear is to starve. Then your only boss is hunger. It's no honor amongst thieves, no trust amongst killers. We call ourselves survivors. They call us drug dealers. Now, an ounce of some good piff gonna run you around 400 right now. You know what I mean? Give or take. It's 28 grams in an ounce. I mean, if you don't feel like having that light money, let me owe you a dollar-ass clientele, then you want to bag up at least dubs, which is around like a gram, 0.8, depending on how fluffy it come. You know what I mean? So that bags up to around 700. So once I was out there, man, I started getting it popping. I mean, I'm talking about hood dudes, school nerds. I mean, shit. Even white film director niggas started to come holler at me. He was always acting a little nervous, but he came with that money straight. <laughs> See, when you get money in the streets, it becomes a reflex thing, you know what I mean? We spending it like we printing, knots in my pocket every day. You don't factor in the cab rides, the smoking with hoop-ass niggas, the baggies, the scales. And when you add it all up, you did all that work for $100. Man, I needed a new fucking hustle. Life in the city is not very big. So I came home on Christmas vacation from school, and that was it, man. Family had started separating, sister had been moved out, parents split up, and moms kicked me out. So there I went from college potential graduate to homeless convicted felon. Yeah, it got real hard body fucking with that NYPD. So I'm in a whole nother space now, this whole nother world. Harlem world. 
Now when you raised in the struggle, the pain and the hustle keep you caged in. It's a shame the game don't love you. It's 8th Ave right here. It's my aunt's building right there, 26 C. Drew Hamilton Projects. Yeah, a lot of memories in this building, man. See, I was moving around Dolo, but turns out I already had love in the hood. You know, I have been coming back and forth across the bridge for years, but see, I mean, now I'm a resident. I mean, I had Fat Cat, The Wolves, Bags, these were my niggas, and they was tearing shit up in the streets. But see me? I was falling back, man. I was trying to stay free. Just started working in a barbershop. Was nobody bothering me? <laughs> or so I thought. Blast, that was my dude, man. Yeah, he was always like, talking about being some music producer. Like real music, like vintage music, you know what I mean? Like vintage, huh? yeah, vintage. Like vintage music. Yeah, you know what I mean? I should do that too. One thing we learned in the hood is to compete. I ain't even really think I could rap. I just felt like talking shit. Yeah, I'm not even a rapper, and I know you can't rap better than me. Come on, man. Let's be serious, man. Fuck that. Give me a Yo, he won. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Back. Give him a beat. Chillin' with my niggas, we in the hood. Okay. We in Harlem, no problem. It's about stardom. See, niggas want problems, we gon' rob them. <laughs> See, you know, I don't need crutches. Niggas just smoked about four duchess. Uh -huh. And I burn out throttles and models. 12 a.m. and we done finished two bottles. Yes, <laughs> See, you thought it was a game. Yeah, thought... Serious, huh? That's gonna be my name. Oh, Fuck yeah. that, cause uh -huh. you know I got grip. My nigga S. Dot spit sick. This is that shit. Okay. And hey, yo, and that was just oh, freestyle. I'ma do this me. until I'm seen now. Oh. High on a weed cloud, that's enough of that. Hey. Shit. Just a little something, see if you can fuck with that. Uh. Yeah. Not bad for a first time, huh? <laughs> well, after about 15 more of them drunk ass freestyles, I realized I needed a bigger audience than my boys. Yes, yes, we got Sirius Jones from Jersey, Inglewood. We got my man Young Weezy, you know, straight from Harlem. Young Weezy, you set it off, baby. Yo. Okay, let's Sirius see what Jones we got here. Got money, Dirty top. ass head, some OPP looking ass, like 93 braids, a purple coat. Run, oh, fuck it up, fuck it up. Oh, man. And this dude fuck it up? Y'all know what this mean, right? I got this motherfucker now. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. So fuck it, I'ma just spit something off the top if y'all with it. Uh huh. See, you know I go a little rock and roll with it. See, you got a gun, but you ain't popping off with it. And your scully look like you just mopped the floor with it. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, See, hold some on. rappers just keep flowing through all this noise. Nah, man. Hold up. Y'all need to hear what I'm about to hold say. On, hold on. Oh, listen, listen. Hey, listen. Stop playing games with me, shorty. I scrape you. You look like a reject member from Naughty by Nature. <laughs> You see, you know, it's a story. This is some joke shit. You know what we do with purple, right? We smoke it. <laughs> See, you walking up a tall hill with hills, and you tripping. See, even though this nigga's ugly, you better off singing than spitting. See, somebody better call up Johnny Gill and Michael Bivens. I think we got the newest edition, a new edition. I mean, just keep hitting them punchline after punchline, verse after verse. It's my religion. You better off trying to catch a whale in the sewer fishes. See? After a while, it got kind of easy. Shit, if this was all I had to do to make a name in this game, Man, it's a wrap. I mean, once I get in this zone, I mean, I'm just hitting him. Even like a baby, have his whole chest wheezy for the cash money. And this is all off the top. All I got to do now, one knockout. See, and you know I hear a lot of lies here told. How you young wheezy, man? You're 35 years old. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
See, after the camera comes the light. Once that light get on you, though, better be ready for that action. Time is it, man? It's prime time, nigga. Turn it to 54. Hurry up. Fuck out of here, man. What you talking about? Hell yeah, nigga. You killing it, too. Yeah, right. First time you see yourself winning on national TV, it's like watching your child being born. I've seen that all day. I mean, nah, I don't got no kids, but you get the point. It's an old game. What you was doing, E? <laughs> <laughs> I said, yo, I said, you broke. Seeing myself, nigga, I don't know how the fuck I look. You know what I mean? Word. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Hit me when you get ready, yo. All right, that's what it is. Bet. So, how does this feel? Does this does this hurt? Um, well, it probably would if one of you doing it. <laughs> Cute. So, what do you do for a living? Uh, well, currently, uh, I'm a rap star. Interesting. Um, so, what is your stage name? Serious Jones? No. Mm. <laughs> oh my god, you're Serious Jones? That's me. <laughs> oh my god. No way. <laughs> Listen, I have two boys, and they absolutely adore you, okay? And we were watching your, your, your um, rap battle contest thing, and you are so good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, it's Serious Jones. Oh my god, this is crazy. God! I want to know what the funny part is. I went to the doctor because I was in excruciating fucking pain. But you know what they say. Emergency. Fame is a narcotic. And when you sitting in these meetings, talking to these industry dudes, it's always the same conversation, man. We all know record labels ain't the same nowadays, man. They ain't taking chances. You think this dude really going to put his job on the line for me? <laughs> Come on now. Record companies sell way more dreams than records. See, I built up an international fan base. I mean, like six million on YouTube alone, just off battles. They tell you, yeah, we understand, and we see a vision, and we want to build the movement and, and the brand and make you the biggest superstar ever. Yeah, I'm like, okay, sound good. As long as that check clear, though, I'll put in my own work. So it was a deal. Shit, seven million dollar budget for five albums. <laughs> Pretty big advance too. So you learn quick though. That paperwork, after you sign that shit, your life will never be the same again. They want to show you the show, you know what I mean? Pop champagne, party with you. <laughs> shit, I could pop my own champagne. Just help me sell some records, nigga. What goes on in the dark will eventually come to the light. What well, blesses the seed that grows in the valley of the shadow. See, it's easy to sleep on a dreamer if you're blind to the signs. The only way to wake the world up is to rise and shine. See, I was hunting my fate down. Now I have some grub on my plate. So I'm stepping through the night shining with the sun on my face. <laughs> this rap game, 
Man, it's where the players try to stay out of court. You ask me, balling is a hobby. See, winning is a sport. So let's hear for the dreamer that attracted his own shine. Girls from all races dig him because his mind is a gold mine. But this fast life, man, it's a war. Each day is a battle. And the brighter the light on you, the darker the shadows. Another day, another dollar, my mother would holler. <laughs> Shit, we all same at the end of the day and the beginning. Just humans, you know what I mean? Waking up trying to figure this shit out, man, one day at a time. Trying to get it. Trying to win. Like I said, I'm just a regular dude like you. When your life's on the line, you be thinking the dudes that you signed your career and essentially your life over to would give a fuck, right? <sighs> See, I had to learn the hard way. It was all up to me all the fucking long. It's all good, though. I'ma get mine. Maybe it was something I did back in the day coming to haunt me. Maybe it was just some hater that ain't like me. Maybe it was my own insecurity and fears just manifested in another motherfucker. I don't know what the fuck it was. Only thing I know, I won. Uh -huh. I be on the road, don't see me on the block. You try to find me, you can meet me at the top. You can meet me at the top. You can meet me at the top. I'm headed to the top, on the top. And I can't get it wrong. All time before, why not? They said I couldn't do it. I told them haters watch. You can meet me at the top. You can meet me at the top. At the top. Multi million dollar deal, man. It sounds so strange. It's hard to get a million without cocaine. I just keep it real. Ain't about no game. Gotta pay the bills with this household name. So you know I'ma go, go. You know what? I'ma take it back on y'all motherfuckers. Check. See, I jumps in the beast. My flows is all crap. Sunk in the seat. My clothes is all black. Plus that we cheap. We roll like long bats. We contract the wall. So fall should fall back. I'm a general. In general. Smooth criminal. Lyrical individual. I'm pimping all the bitches who think. Otherwise, keep my eyes on the prize and tell them lies that sound real. I got the crowd still. So I'ma chill at the top in domination. My squad get proper block accommodations. These fake mobsters need Oscar nomination, so stay safe so you can drop with a combination. I said I'm a Lake. What's up, bro? Well, my Lake of Salon, that's what it is, but this ain't the Quran. I'm the kid. You want beef? You gotta pay for the farm. And the pigs, we on the strip till the bacon is gone. See, I'm an expert. How I take the pimp network, turn your sweater to a Jamaican fish net shirt. Nah, bitch, shit, that'll make your chip neck jerk. This is fun, but I get paid for this. Let's work. Oh, no. 